know, we think of it in terms of there's three things that need to happen to make the local edge a, a mission critical reality. So one is the ecosystem that needs to uh, work together. Uh, one, it's changed and needs to work together much differently. So uh, that's number one. Number two is we think that management tools need to go into a complete cloud architecture. Look at that. And then the third thing is, uh, how do I start applying AI and what's necessary to do that? So if you take a look, number one, if you think about what needs to be delivered on an edge data center, you need, you know, I need racks, I need cooling, I need power, I need security, uh, just physical security, things that Schneider does. You know, we need to be able to deliver that. We need to be able to del deliver that in conjunction with IT. So you got IT players, physical infrastructure players, the customer actually needs to de define their application and what they need much better than they had in the past. Because it used to be, well, the stuff will arrive on site and somebody will figure it out. That's not going to work anymore if you actually want to know and be able to manage this thing. Um, you've got managed service providers who might be the people actually managing these things. They didn't exist 10 years ago for the most part. So that's changing the dynamic. And then somebody somewhere has to integrate all this stuff together. So you have a system integrator that's got to put it together and ship it out to the customer. Getting all those things working together really is a much different experience. And we've done this with HPE, we've done it with scale computing, we've done it with a few others. It is really hard right, to get the supply chain and all the other issues working together. And I think this is part of why the industry is having a challenge with that. So, um, so that's number one, is just the ecosystem. The second thing is the management tools. When I have that complex an ecosystem, and I'm trying to manage now, say, 3,000 of these things in various parts of the world, we believe, and, and we are in the process of re-architecting that management tool to be in the cloud. And one of the big benefits is, you know, you pay as you grow, you get all the standard benefits of a cloud architecture, but the thing that we're most excited about is when we deploy and I have the data sitting in the cloud, it is very straightforward and easy to have everybody in the ecosystem looking at the same data. So in the past, you would have data and you would know what was going on, but you would call me on the phone and say, hey, I'm having a problem, and now you got to start describing it. There's no reason for that to exist anymore. Now I can look at the same data you are, right? And uh, <clears throat> so that's kind of the two things. How's the ecosystem work together? We got to get the management tools into the cloud. And then the third thing, once we do that, is I can collect massive amounts of data and we can start applying, and that gives us the fundamental foundation to do AI and machine learning. Because if I have 3,000 data centers in the world, you know, I don't have staff at every single data center. So the uh, AI is going to be critical for that. And that is a, uh, we started working on this two years ago. I can tell you it's a much harder problem than what people think, or at least than what we thought. And, uh, but, you know, we're starting to see the fruits of that labor just now come to market. I mean, very early days, but uh, we're pretty excited about the progress on that. So, sorry for the long-winded answer, but no, it's... No